Built in 1854, the mansion at the corner of Main and Pullen Street in St. Joseph, Missouri, was the family home of Armstrong and Eliza Beatty. He owned the local bank and served multiple terms as the mayor of St. Joseph. She was active in volunteer organizations. The couple was generous to the community and financially supported many projects. In 1880, following the deaths of the Beatties, the Ladies' Union Benevolent Association purchased the home, using it to house orphaned children and adults who were alone. Luba, as the group was called, was adamant that the public know that the adults who lived at the home were not paupers, but actually paid their share. In 1894, the children were moved to another home owned by Luba, called the Home for Little Wanderers, and in 1895, a wing identical to the mansion was added and known as the George T. Hoagland Wing. The home held 21 residents and had a 10-bed infirmary. Paranormal claims include the sound of children laughing on the second floor, the apparition of Mrs. Beatty seen in the second floor hallway of the addition, the apparition of Mr. Beatty seen on the second floor of the original mansion, and an unhappy spirit in the basement. We investigated the Beatty Mansion on one very hot night in June 2019. We did have uh, some strange things happen that we were able to document. One of the claims is that there is an unhappy spirit in the basement. Some call him Charles, some call him Paul. We had an EVP session in the basement using the portal. What makes this session so compelling is that earlier in the evening, uh, I had found a quarter laying on the basement floor and I picked it up and put it in my pocket. Yep, I know better than to do anything like that, but I did it out of force of habit. During this portal session, we got some responses that seemed to be in direct response to that incident. I hang around down here forever. So, like you said, coin. I thought so, too. She brought the I, coin down. I apologize. I didn't realize the coin belonged to you. Do you need more money? I do. He just said, I do. He did say, I do. I do. Well, I got a dollar in there. I'll bring you a dollar in. Is it okay? What what do you need money for? The next morning, we held another portal session in the basement. What makes this session compelling is that earlier in the morning, uh, we noticed that the basement door had opened seemingly by itself. We didn't know it at the time, but I had actually gotten caught on the doorknob and had opened the door myself. The responses that we got during this EVP session seemed to be in direct response to that incident. Did you open the door? They, they said my name. They just said my name. We also caught the sound of a door slamming. This audio was captured on the audio from the camera in the second floor connector hallway. It was not captured on any other recording device we had throughout the house. Another odd piece of evidence was the sound of someone whistling, also caught on the second floor where it is said Mr. Beatty's spirit is seen. This whistle was also not captured on any other recording device in the house. We also captured several EVPs and some light anomalies.
While not as outwardly active as we had anticipated, we believe the Beatty Mansion certainly has someone roaming its halls. Is it Paul or Charles or Mr. and Mrs. Beatty? Or perhaps someone from the Memorial Home for the Aged? We can't say for sure, but this 165-year-old mansion is worth another look.